When the Swedish couple Joachim and Jessica traveled to the Dominican Republic, they believed that their vacation would be like any other. The clear blue water, the palm trees, and the long sandy beaches are something that most Swedes dream of experiencing. But what started as their dream vacation would turn out to be more of a nightmare instead. Joachim and Jessica Silva would never return back to Sweden alive. What truly happened to the couple in the summer paradise is an unsolved mystery. This is the case of Joachim and Jessica Silva. So hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Elin and on this channel I cover true crime cases that have occurred in the Nordic countries. Some content warnings before we start this video. In one of the theories, I will briefly discuss domestic abuse, but I don't go into any details about this. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And now let's get into the case that happened in the Dominican Republic. So Joaquim Silva was a man who was adopted from Brazil, and he kept his last name Silva to honor his Brazilian origin. Joachim was described as a hardworking man who was so hardworking that he motivated the people around him. Joachim and Jessica met through a colleague as they worked at the same job and it was love at first sight, so it was said to be one of those kind of loves that many people believe only exists in movies. Jessica was described by her daughter as a fantastic person who was full of energy and joy and who always wanted the best for everyone around her. When she was pretty young, around 20 years old, she had two children who were called Aileen and Elias, and at least with her daughter Aileen, she had a very close relationship. So because the couple fell so hard for each other, things moved pretty fast between them. When Jessica and Joachim married, Jessica took Joachim's last name, Silva. Joachim and Jessica had at least one interest in common, and this was traveling. They just loved seeing the world together, and they had traveled to many different places in the world. On the 21st of February 2020, Joachim and Jessica traveled to the Dominican Republic for a vacation. Joachim was at this point 49 years old, and Jessica was 46, and they traveled to the beautiful Punta Cana. As I said, the Dominican Republic is like a paradise for Nordic people. I mean, the sunny weather and the sandy beaches is something that the Nordic people dream of experiencing. But Joachim and Jessica did not know that what was supposed to be a dream vacation would soon turn out to be a nightmare. The couple had been in the Dominican Republic once before, and this time they took a charter trip and checked into their hotel. This was a nice all-inclusive hotel, and the hotel overall seemed pretty trustworthy. On the 3rd of March 2020, Jessica sent a text message to her daughter Aileen that the trip had not gone as planned. Joachim and Jessica got sick after eating a chicken salad and did not leave the hotel room for many days. Jessica also told Aileen in the text message that they had received some kind of medicine for the stomach flu. It is to this day unclear what kind of medication this was and how much they received. Joachim and Jessica were supposed to travel back to Sweden that Friday, and Jessica was worried that she would not get better before traveling home. She also described it as the worst vacation so far, which is understandable. I mean, anyone who's had the stomach flu knows that it's just the worst. On the 5th of March 2020, so the Thursday before the couple was supposed to travel back to Sweden, Joachim went for a walk at 2 in the morning at the hotel area, so we basically know that he was at least feeling better at this point. Half an hour later, he came back to the hotel room where he found a horrific scene. His wife Jessica was laying dead on the bathroom floor. So he contacted the hotel staff, who contacted the doctor, and they came to the scene and declared Jessica dead. Joachim then called Jessica's daughter Aileen and told her that her mother was dead. Joachim described to Aileen in the phone call that he had been out walking and then he came back to the hotel room to find Jessica's body. Since it was Joachim who found Jessica and he was also the last person to see her, he was immediately taken in for questioning by the police. 
Jessica's children were, however, sure that Joachim had not done anything to their mother. Joachim promised Aileen that he would call her when he could, and Aileen, of course, broke down in tears after this phone call. So Aileen was waiting for Joachim to call her back, but she never received another phone call after this. She did, however, send a text message to him asking what they could do for him and where he was. During this time, Joachim was taken to Higue in the Dominican Republic, and this was around 5 kilometers from their hotel as he was going to be questioned. He called his family and told them the situation and that he was a suspect, and this was the last time that anyone heard from Joachim. And this was all happening during the night, so the following day, around 10,000 Dominican pesos was taken out from Joachim's account at 16 different times. And I mean, Joachim was in police custody during this time, so how could money be taken out from his account? That day, Aileen sent him another message, as she had received no answer from him, and this was sent, but she got no answer. The following days, more money was taken out from Joachim's account. On Saturday, Aileen sent another message to Joachim and told him to call her, but this message was never even received. That same Saturday, Aileen got to know from Joachim's closed ones that Joachim had also been found dead in the Dominican Republic. He had died in police custody, and a local source stated that he had been arrested in suspicion for murdering his wife and had then been abused to death during interrogations. According to the police, this was not the case, and according to them, he had just suddenly collapsed and they were unable to save him. But what truly happened is hard to know for sure, and this was in 2020, so what happened then? The pandemic started and the Dominican Republic closed their borders. The couple's families were therefore unable to travel there to find out more about the situation. So the police told Jessica's family that her cause of death was probably alcohol poisoning and as this has happened before in the Dominican Republic, they at first believed this. But later, when they got the abduction papers, it showed that Jessica died from alcohol poisoning or suffocation. From what I understood, this was later changed to suffocation, and the suffocation had been from violence in a way that someone blocked her airways. The alcohol that she had in her blood showed that she had only had around one glass of wine, so how could she have died from that? This changed the whole situation for Jessica's family, as it now seemed more like a murder. When Jessica's body was found, she had blood from the mouth, according to Joachim, but in the abduction report it said that she was found in her bed with a bloody towel under her head. Joachim's abduction showed that he had many injuries on his head and upper body, but the doctor concluded that he had died from a heart attack. According to the report, he had started breathing heavily in his cell and throwing up and then collapsed and despite attempts, they were unable to save him. On the 28th of March, a purchase was made from Joachim's bank card. A month later, Jessica's family was asked if they wanted her body cremated and they answered no to this. On the 27th of May, their bodies came to Sweden, but there were a lot of things missing from their stuff, for example, watches and jewelry. Their passports were also missing, and Jessica's passport arrived later, but Joachim's never came. The interesting part of this is that Joachim's credit card that had been used after he passed away was actually among the things that came back to Sweden with their bodies. And this makes it possibly more suspicious because it kind of takes away the possibility that it was stolen from an outside person and it almost seems like some kind of police involvement. So there is some theories about what happened and I don't want to speculate too much out of respect for their families and there is also not much evidence for any of the theories. One theory is that Joachim did murder Jessica and then went out for a walk to cover this up because he did decide to take a walk in the middle of the night. He then came back to the hotel room and pretended to find Jessica and was arrested by the police. There is, however, no motive for this, no evidence for it, and Jessica's children do not believe that he had something to do with her murder. 
one interesting thing is that the neighbors did hear fighting coming from the hotel room in the days that they were sick so much that they had actually complained about this. So after these events, there are basically three possibilities. Joachim was either abused during interrogation and died from his injuries, or he was murdered so that someone involved could steal from him, or he died from natural causes. But since his card was used and money was taken out from his account, it seems like his death was not an accident. So the other theory is that this was some kind of planned attack and that someone murdered both Jessica and Joachim to possibly steal from them. Maybe someone had been waiting for Joachim to go out of the hotel room and the moment that he left, they murdered Jessica. Maybe Joachim was made a suspect just to trick the public into thinking that it was him and he was then murdered. There is a lot of corruption and criminality within the country, so this would kind of make sense, and this would also explain why some of their stuff never came back to their families and the money that was stolen from Joachim. But murdering a couple just for a little bit of money and jewelry seems a bit extreme. I'm also left wondering if the medication that they got had any kind of connection to the case and also what kind of medication they got. Or could they possibly have been poisoned and that's why they were so sick? Only a year before Joachim and Jessica, a similar situation happened to an American couple traveling to the Dominican Republic. The hotel staff found them dead in their hotel room after taking some kind of medication. In 2019, American media actually reported that around 10 American tourists have died during their vacation in the Dominican Republic within a year. So the families are left wondering what happened to Joachim and Jessica, and they don't even know if the police investigation is still ongoing in the Dominican Republic. The family never asked for a new abduction of Jessica's body as they did not know that it was possible to do one in Sweden as well. Jessica's daughter Elin has later stated, If there is someone that I have gotten my strength from, then it's my mom. She was the one who always told me, rise up again, you can do anything. And I'm thankful for that today, because without my mom's words and wisdom, I don't know how I would have handled this whole situation. But that's all that I have for this case, and unfortunately there is not too much information about this case online, so this is really everything I know about the case. I saw that there was some kind of documentary about the case, but I think it's only possible to watch in Sweden since I could not find it anywhere. I just feel like it's super sad that their families were basically helpless as Joachim and Jessica died in another country and the borders closed. And it's also crazy how someone literally used Joachim's bank card and then just sent it back to his family like nothing happened. But I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>